Hello and welcome our viewers in Worcester and all other surrounding towns and uh, neighborhood uh, to this wonderful local access um, broadcast. My name is Biodo Akande. I'm the program manager for the Worcester Consumer Rights uh, Program Initiative. Um, it is a program that works in cooperation with the uh, Massachusetts, Massachusetts Attorney General's Office. Um, this program advocates on behalf of uh, uh, the local consumers and um, we provide and educate and, and, and present information to consumers um, in order to uh, give them the opportunity to be uh, aware of what's going on um, within the consumer world. And today we're bringing you another segment of the program, um, which I believe we titled it Bank On. Yeah, five, you want to correct me? Yeah, yeah I believe. Financial Literacy Program is what we have scheduled for today. Yes, that's what we call it, Financial Literacy Program that mm -hmm. actually brings um, a wealth of knowledge uh, to our public and our audience. Um, and with me today, I have a uh, distinguished uh, oh members <laughs> of, of, of the public. Uh, and, and first, let me start by introducing uh, my wonderful, uh, my caller, my wonderful assistant, uh, Yafa Fain, who actually works with me on the uh, Worcester Consumer Rights Program. And I also want to introduce you to uh, Jenna Wills, um, who is actually um, another wonderful uh, partner in the community. <laughs> Um, from Worcester Community Action Council, a program that has actually uh, been involved in what we uh, do in the community. Mm -hmm. And with Jenna today, um, she was uh, she's able to bring um, on board uh, Sherry uh, from Fidelity Bank, um, who has come with a wealth of knowledge and will be. Um, you know, giving us some ints and the do's and the don'ts, yes. uh, you know, <laughs> when it comes to, to banking um, generally. And also with Sherry is uh, Diane uh, from Bay State Savings Bank. Yes. Oh my God, mm -hmm. we really have a uh, notable personnel uh, mm -hmm. in our students. So <laughs> it's really exciting. It's I'm really glad exciting. I think so. But thank, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank so you for without much us. ado, uh, we're gonna roll into the um, into today's segment, and I, Yafa, I think we're we're doing this program today to really uh, commemorate um, the uh, National Consumer Protection Week, uh, which is. Uh, coming up pretty soon. Um, I, I'm not really good with my dates. Uh. <laughs> March 4th through 10th, so that's coming up next week. Um, we'll be having events throughout the week in public settings. We'll be at the courthouse, we'll be at the library, um, and then we'll also be doing programs with partnership with the WCAC throughout the week. Great. So thank you for actually uh, giving us all the you know opportunity to speak to members of the yeah. public and speak to the audience at uh, Worcester WCAC. They do wonderful things um, in our community. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things Jenna had actually informed me when I you know when I was pitching the National <laughs> Consumer <laughs> Protection Week uh, uh -huh. um, is, is the Bank On um, initiative and she yes. says oh we have this new program you know that's going to start and then when I look over all the details I mm -hmm. I, I said to Jen, I, I mean, I said to Ayafa that um, this is one of the things that I want us mm -hmm. to be to, to be part of. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start with sure. you if you want to yeah. just tell us a little brief history about what BankOn is and, sure. and what it actually um, um, is intended in, sure. to do in, com in the community. Yeah, happy to. So Bank on Worcester County is an initiative that started in 2017 at the Worcester Community Action Council and we're graciously funded by the Health Foundation of Central Mass. And what it does is we bring together banks and uh, credit unions, and we're trying to create an affordable checking account option for people who are underbanked or unbanked in Worcester County. So folks who don't have a checking account currently or maybe only have a savings account and they're looking to have their money in an affordable, um, accessible account that is safe and um, a good resource for them also for financial education and to have an established a, a relationship with financial institutions. So um, we have a variety of institutions around the table and we uh, have proposed a checking account and along with the checking account we're working on marketing and financial education tools that will then further um, share what we're doing with the larger community. Wow, that's that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. that's well said. You know something that resonated with me when when um, Jenna is going over the program is every time we do something like this, I like to go over um, the definition of what consumer protection is because I, I I think that's the basis for mm -hmm. for all the good work that we do in the community. And and, and something that I, I I always refer to is the Consumer Bill of Rights and. And, and, and it's funny that Jenna just actually mentioned consumer education because one of the definitions actually says the right to consumer mm -hmm. education from both our public entities 
as well as business organizations alike. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's so awesome that we can bring mm -hmm. everyone together in this room and really discuss what are the alternatives or what are the opportunities or options for the consumers out there. Would you agree with me, Jenna? Yeah, I do. That's great. That's a great definition of what so, we're trying to do. So thank you. So, so I'm, I'm going to direct my other question to... Um, to, to Sherry, um, so can, can you tell us a little, a little bit about why your, why some of these institutions are really getting involved? You know, what what, what is what is the what is the catch point? So to say, what, why why are you trying to do something that's this good in, in the community? Well, I think you know, for Fidelity Bank, and I'm sure I know for Bay State and the other banks that, that are involved, um, you know, we really try to be more and we want to be engaged with with the community with Central Mass and want to support organizations like the Community Action Worcester Community Action Council. And you know, the, the information that for me personally was really compelling was you know this underbanked and unbanked population in Worcester mm -hmm. is about 30 percent. So oh, that's wow. a huge huge number of thousands of people that don't have you know sort of financial support and then a financial literacy component too was it was a, an appeal for us but you know really just being involved and engaged with the community is important and giving giving back and this was this is one of the ways that I know Fidelity Bank and, and Bay State also yeah. who's also really involved in the community um, is is getting involved in, in trying to support particularly this this population mm -hmm. um, in and Worcester and Central Mass. And it's nice to be able to work with partners like the mm -hmm. WCAC and Fidelity mm -hmm. Bank to give back to the community because our communities, when our communities benefit, we all benefit. Mm -hmm. So this is a really nice way to also reach a population that I think for banks it's very hard to reach. So we've done some we hate to use the term financial literacy too yeah. because I think it scares people mm -hmm. and we've talked about we that, talked about that yeah. in our groups but um, we've done some training for people who maybe come from other countries or from who don't speak English as a, as a primary language who are very nervous about using banks, they don't trust banks, they don't understand the financial institution as it exists. And financial institution sounds like a big scary thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a really great way to connect with these people and to give them something that's going to help them save, protect their money, um, give them access to maybe credit or help them maybe eventually get into their first home or mm -hmm. something like that. So this was a really great, very compelling for us to do as well because we're partnering with, with our neighborhood organizations and with other banks to do something really good for the community from where we get our business, so. Oh, yeah. wow, that's awesome. Would you agree, Effa? That's, <laughs> that's really awesome. I think it's great that you're talking about financial um, literacy and education just because we understand from our perspective dealing with consumer issues that these sort of translate into broader issues around mm -hmm. buying cars mm -hmm. and housing mm -hmm. right. and all different exactly. sectors right. of people's livelihoods right. and yeah. exactly. daily living. Right. Yeah, exactly. we're, I think we're, I agree with like, you. As Diane said, you know, we, we feel like the, the words financial literacy can come to be can off putting mm -hmm. to people. So we're trying to come up with something else. If you guys What's have any ideas, 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 we're open to them because financial empowerment, yeah, oh, empowerment, empowerment. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. and we're trying to break it down and into into small chunks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. people don't mm -hmm. have to go and sit in like a two hour class right. about financial literacy. It's like how can we do it um, in ways that are going to engage with people right. and be mm -hmm. interesting and, and helpful. Because I think a lot of times too, when people don't understand, like I would admit. I don't know if I'm financially literate. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what that right. means. Absolutely. You know yeah. what I mean? So I think right. for people to have access to something called financial literacy, they're often afraid that they're going to look stupid or they're not going to understand what you're talking about mm -hmm. and then they don't want to be involved. Right. right. So right. we're trying to make it as, as easy accessible, as possible. Yeah. as easy mm -hmm. as possible mm -hmm. as we can for people that really, I mean, the WCAC has done a great job of identifying a population that's really, really in need mm -hmm. in Worcester and Southbridge. South and Southbridge, yes. too, yeah. yes. Wow, yeah. awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So yeah. if, I, if I may take a step backwards, I, I think one of the, I'm not really good with acronyms, and I, you know, I've had a, a couple of acronyms mm -hmm. just, you know, as we started, um, you mentioned something Underbanked. Um, Underbanked yeah. Can you really elaborate a little bit about? Because I, I want to really be able to to kind of identify the segment that we are targeting that will mostly benefit from these uh, from this great product. Mm -hmm. Primarily, we're looking to do outreach to folks who currently do not have any sort of banking relationship, um, whether now or previously in their life before. So that would be the unbanked mm -hmm. population, someone who doesn't have a checking or savings account. Mm -hmm. um, underbanked 
my idea is that someone who maybe has a savings account yeah. but is still yeah. using check cashing yeah. locations to yeah. cash their paychecks or um, send money elsewhere. So um, we're really focusing on the unbanked population first and then maybe exploring the underbanked population okay. after and that. And I think the key is to get to those folks whose money isn't safe. Mm -hmm. So we have talked to people, and I don't know if you guys have, mm -hmm. but who have kept their money literally in mattresses. I mean, it sounds oh, wow. silly, do that. but yeah. Yeah. or in tin cans in their right. freezer, yeah. because they're just afraid they don't understand that in a bank, your money's safe. Mm -hmm. And to them, the bank is just a big, scary institution that mm -hmm. they don't understand. So we're trying really hard to reach those people with something that makes sense to them, that's mm -hmm. approachable, people who can talk to them like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, 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 the other uh, acronym that actually came to mind as Diane um, um, explains this is, is primary relationship mm -hmm. because on our program, one of the things that, that, that makes me so passionate about the Bank On um, initiative is that we see a lot of people, a lot of members of the community that are coming on our program and it's either they're bringing concerns about interest rates mm -hmm. or not understanding how, you know, auto financing works or, you know, how they use credit cards mm -hmm. or right. even mm -hmm. something as simple as right. having right. a primary right. checking account <coughs> that you can write checks out right. of so mm -hmm. you're not really carrying cash. Would you agree with me uh, that we've, we've seen quite a mm -hmm. few people? And so uh, how do you think the bank on program really fit into establishing what we refer to as primary relationship mm -hmm. with members of the public so that now when they make a decision to go you know, um, apply for a credit card, you know, they've established some sort of, 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 of credit worthiness mm -hmm. or, or more so if they're going to buy their first automobile, right, right. Um, they're not really going to those lenders that are charging exorbitant, exactly. um, right. you know, That's interest exactly. rate. Right. Right. And they right. can go to someone they trust. So the, the premise of this program is we've established a free checking account, mm -hmm. pretty much. Oh, wow. That all the participating banks have agreed to, um, offer. So yeah. Jenna, maybe you can talk about sure. the specifics yeah, yeah. of the account. Yeah, definitely. Account I can, yep. Which mm -hmm. might be a little bit easier for someone who may have had a bad experience with another bank, may have had like uh, a write-off somewhere that maybe wouldn't be as easy for them to go to a bank and open an account. The rules are going to be a little bit more relaxed mm -hmm. with this account. Sure than with a normal account. Yeah, some of, just off the top of my head, some of the terms are, you know, a low minimum deposit to open the account. All of the banks and credit unions are gonna offer a $25 or less minimum opening deposit. Um, they're going to be uh, free mobile deposits and uh, access to all branch and telephone banking. Yeah. It's going to have um, access to bill pay at an affordable oh, rate. Wow. There's going to be low um, insufficient fund fees. So it really is an affordable bank, bank account. In some cases, very affordable and much more affordable than mm -hmm. other traditional yeah. checking accounts. And as we roll out this product, you know, the, the financial literacy, whatever we call it, we're not going to call it that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll be a part of it. So talking about all those things like building credit and, yep. you know, the importance of having a savings account. Why would you need a savings account? Oh, in case, you know, these things, emergency expenses come up and m making sure. And that's really, you know, talking mm -hmm. about maybe phase two is right. when we're talking about that underbanked um, yep. population where they might have a checking account but don't have a savings and don't have money to cover you know some em type of emergency expense that might come up awesome awesome yeah. so let me ask you jenna wh mm -hmm. what are the processes that wcac has put in place to really identify and mm -hmm. i know we, we've talked broadly about <coughs> the about the audience that mm -hmm. you know that we are targeting sure. you know w what are the programs in place or some of the processes to really really you yeah. know kind of rein these people mm -hmm. in and, and really kind of educate them. I know we don't want to use that that broad term financial mm -hmm, education, right. but how do we get the opportunity to sure. really talk to them and and make them identify that it, mm -hmm. it it's really important, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, anyone living yeah. in our community today, it's really yeah. important to have, you know, a solid primary relationship mm -hmm. with a, with a mm -hmm. you know with a great bank right. and a community mm -hmm. bank so, such yep. as we have here today. That's a great question. So we saw a natural relationship with the VITA, the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program that happens in the spring of every year around income tax season. So we thought it was a natural connection between the rollout of Bank On and the VITA program. So individuals who um, at WCAC get their taxes taken care of and prepared will be offered a Bank On referral card that will then send mm -hmm. them to the financial institution of their choice. And that institution will know that this person is eligible uh, for the Bank On product. After oh, wow. VITA, 
we're thinking of rolling it out to community organizations mm -hmm. like community development corporations and Workforce Central, public library, things like that. And Worcester then Worcester Public Schools. Worcester Public Schools, oh, yep. Wow. Yeah, adult Learning yeah, Center. Adult, yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. And potentially reaching beyond that to a youth population over the summer with the youth summer jobs um, work yeah. and youth work. So um, we have a lot of things that we're looking forward to and a lot of people who are hoping to offer this too. Wow, that's, that's, that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. So if you're just tuning in, um, this is uh, the Worcester Consumer Rights uh, Program uh, segment um, being um, heard on the um, local government channel. I believe it's channel 192, right? Um, we also do have uh, the ability, one of the very awesome things that the city, um, as you know, the city is pretty excited about a lot of things that make our community uh, progress. One of the things that the city also does and that we will be doing on our program is actually send the link to this taping um, to members of the audience or members of the community so they can actually share this with friends and families because we want to really share this, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is this is wonderful news. This is, uh, you know, this is great new things happening in our community. Sure. So, if I want to, I want to really go a little bit back to the Vida uh, mm -hmm. program, mm -hmm. which is going to be the primary um, program that you know introduces sure. uh, this uh, bank on, um, to the community. Uh, Worcester Community Action mm -hmm. Council happens to be just only one of the. From what I learned, we have um, Four. a collision of, okay, yeah. can you really talk about that? And uh, I can try. Mm -hmm. So briefly, I think it's uh, WCAC, Plumley Village, Worcester State University, and the Maine South CDC that offer VITA um, for uh, the Worcester public. So it's a great tool. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, um, so w w w how, would some, how would a program like ours really be able to refer this to members of the public? I mean, you know, walking in city or you go to the second floor, there are tons of people at the beginning of every month mm -hmm. who either want to make their, you know, their payment that could, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. I think that yeah. I was mentioning things right. like online mm -hmm. banking. Sure. And many great things that just makes life easier for the, you know, for the local consumer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I do that. I, I'm, I'm pretty lazy. I'm laid back. <laughs> I, I, you know, I love to, I love to jump on my computer and just make my phone bill, uh, yeah. Yeah. bill payments, and yeah. you know, pay all my bills and take care of my financial transactions. So, mm -hmm. how would you incorporate the city as a, or, or the city hall to actually be a partaker mm -hmm. in the in this program? Um, is this something that's in the in the works or? You know? Yeah. Well, I think you nailed it on the head. There's a lot of people coming in and out every day to city hall for various reasons. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can capture that audience, whether it's through Health and Human Services or upstairs with people just paying their bill, um, mm -hmm. do just a simple referral. Say, hey, mm -hmm. um, can I talk to you for a minute about Bank On? We, we haven't really worked yeah. through that piece too much, but I think City Hall is really a great spot for us to be and to offer this product. And also. we talked about giving out referral cards, which we're still in the design <laughs> phase yep. of, that will do two things. It'll teach individuals who are in a position to recognize these people and refer them who may be appropriate to these, this product and will also serve as a way for the banks to recognize mm -hmm. someone who is appropriate for this product as mm -hmm. well. That's coming soon. Mm -hmm. We're yes. still working on it. Right. It's not oh, done yet. Very funny. Right. I was so, just about to ask Sherry about the timeline. <laughs> 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 Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so Spring. Is, is there a timeline? Yeah. Spring of 2018. Spring of 2018. Spring of this year. Spring of 2018. Yeah. And if yeah. I may ask you, if I may ask you a follow-up question, Sherry, w w how are the banks preparing in order to, because I know this is a lot of work. I mean, especially mm -hmm. if, you know, if, 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 if forgiveness is, is a component mm -hmm. of this program, because I believe you mentioned the fact that some people might have had prior relationship right. that didn't really go well with banks and and I think that's one of the reasons why you talk you talk about this program mm -hmm. to to some members of the public mm -hmm. you know people sometimes shy away from mm -hmm. it because right. they, they just haven't uh, done well with with you know with financial right. institutions right. in the past can you talk to that so we're um, ad ad adopting the product so as Jenna talked about you know the product and it's it's sort of unique features and then also training our um, frontline staff so our retail staff on how to um, sell this product when when to offer it so we're, it's it's really offering the product and then sort of the, the training behind it and then you know the financial literacy piece mm -hmm. too taking those opportunities and I hear it all day 
long mm -hmm. um, at, at Fidelity, and I'm sure Diane does too, you know, opportunities when you're in talking, talking to customers and helping them and supporting them. So it's through really through training and, and, and on, on the product side as well. Yeah. It's kind of a completely different <coughs> sales tactic than mm -hmm. you would with a normal bank product. We're genuinely, not that we're not always genuinely trying to help our customers, <laughs> but like any organization that's based on sales, a lot of bank is selling, 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 selling. And this is different because you're trying to recognize a need and really do a service mm -hmm. to people who wouldn't otherwise either trust or walk into a bank. Yeah. And I think we're all working together, which is the other thing too, because it's we have uh, multilingual capability amongst all of us. Mm -hmm. So this is one thing we talked about as well. We may not be able to service a Spanish-speaking customer, let's say at our Holden branch, but we would be able to refer them to Fidelity. That or is to awesome. Mm -hmm. bank that or is awesome. Bank. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Unibank is another one yeah. who's participating. Yeah. Um, so we're really working together to make sure that this initiative is successful with the target that we're trying oh, to reach. Wow. So basically this is a program that's not bringing banks you yes. know, to compete yeah. with each right. other. Right, exactly. We're we're collaborate. Together. Yeah. Collaborate. It's really yeah. awesome. And we do, you know, we, we are competitors, but we do collaborate yeah. in other mm -hmm. ways in the community. Um, you know, that could be anything from financing projects, but this is just another way for, for us mm -hmm. to right. collaborate. So right. um, we, even though we, we are you know, competitors, I guess, on no. <laughs> to push her off the stool. Um, um, this is just another opportunity yeah. for us to c collaborate, yeah. you know, as community. It really um, is a community mm -hmm. initiative, yep. which I think makes it even mm -hmm. more special. Mm -hmm. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So, Jenna, if I may just turn to you sure. um, one more time, is, is there a process in place to really measure um, you know, the success mm -hmm. of the program. And I know this is really, yeah. you know, too, probably too early to ask, but I, I'm, I'm pretty Never sure. too early. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah, so we um, have one of our committees is the data and evaluation committee for Bank On. So what they've done is created a data tracking tool that okay. the banks will implement when they create the product that will aid them in keeping track of people as they open accounts or close accounts or um, just checking in on people's balances, making sure that they're using the account to its fullest potential. So as the accounts start opening, we're hoping to have of that data information to then determine our effectiveness. So if we see that this product is being opened 10 times a day, super effective. If we see some lag, we need to ask ourselves some questions of why isn't the bank account being opened and what can we do marketing wise or outreach wise to get more people to open the bank on product. All and right. if it's not working as well. Right. So if we're noticing people are opening the account and then closing it a month mm -hmm. later, is there something we can do with the features and benefits right. of the product to make it more yeah. appropriate? Mm -hmm. Are we not reaching the right people? Sure. So I think you guys have put a lot of really good mm -hmm. tools in place so that awesome. we can measure that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So is this a national program or is this something that we just carve out for the city of Worcester? I mean, we you know, just made it This seems to be so, yeah. Yeah. To be so yeah. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> It's Worcester. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. just came up with the yeah. no, no. Uh, no. Bank, is a, yeah. <laughs> Bank On is a national program, oh, wow. but what's cool about the program in Worcester is that we completely redesigned the bank, the bank on national product to fit our partners' needs and what we think would be beneficial for the community. So um, most bank on cities will take the national standards and apply that to their community. We took the national standards and then twisted them up a little bit. So um, we have a really unique product that is um, something that was a very collaborative process to create. What wow, awesome. Mm -hmm. I think we've had such a wonderful educating, <laughs> you know, program that um, that I'm really, you know, pretty proud to put out there and have our consumers mm -hmm. really, um, you know, learn something new and, and you know something that can really kind of make them financially independent. As I said, you know, most people look at our program even from from our program's perspective. It's not just the advocacy. It's not when we really get those complaints in. Mm -hmm. It's right. the ability to really catch that vulnerable segment of our right. community to learn something new and really mm -hmm. do well with it. Um, so I really want to thank you, Sherry, for your time. You. It's been so very awesome having you on the program. And Diane, Thank you so thank you very for much. Having us. And, and, and we're really and excited about this. Yeah. And hopefully there will be really more events. Wouldn't, wouldn't you think there yeah, should be more? Yeah, we're excited for next week. We have so yeah. much going on in the community and That's with our great. partners. Great. And also, we're always welcoming members of the public to come into City Hall. We're yes. in mm -hmm. Room 101, so. I awesome. think that's what we yeah. should do with Sherry and Diane now that <laughs> they're, you know, now they are the uh -huh. family to our program. I mean, I mean, you know, the city of Worcester is always, it's always very exciting to yeah. find yeah. new partners. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, the, many of the work we do, even within our department, we cannot do them successfully if we don't work with programs such as, sure. yeah. uh, you know, the VITA at WCAC. I was going to say, the city's always been a tremendous support yeah. to us awesome. as a partner Eric anyway. Eric so. was in our initial meeting, yeah. so awesome. Awesome. works for the city manager, I'm, I'm, so I'm they've been sure really city supportive. I'm pretty will be very excited yeah. to hear yeah. that. Thank you for that, Pete. Tell we said hi. And, 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 and so uh, to members of our, you know, to, to our viewers and members of the public watching out today, uh, we really thank you for your time, and we hope that you've learned something really substantial. Um, our phone numbers is going to um, actually scroll as we end the program. I really don't, as I said, I'm, I'm really bad with my memories. Um, that's why I bring Yafa on, every, <laughs> on everything that I do. Um, yeah, I so think we're 508-799-8486. And we are also on the website. I know the city of Worcester just designed a wonderful, brand beautiful, new, brand new, wonderful. Brand new yeah. website. Yep. Um, Very if nice. you are not able to navigate to our page, you can just type consumer program on the search box and it will take you right to our own page. Thanks again for watching this program until next time. Again, my name is Biodun Akande and this is Yafa Fain and I want to thank um, a wonderful, wonderful guest today. Oh and until another time, thank you very much. Okay, Goodbye thank now. You. Bye.